Writing short answer responses for the GED science exam. Brought to you by GEDstudyguide.org. During the GED science exam, you will be expected to respond to two short answer prompts. You should leave at least 10 minutes to complete each short answer. Short answer responses will require you to write a summary or create an experiment design or explain how given evidence supports a hypothesis and or conclusion. When you are responding to a question that is based on a text, graphic, or combination of the two, you should use specific facts, details, or evidence from the source material, and be sure that you have completed a well-developed explanation. But what does a well-developed explanation actually mean? Well, today I'm going to give you some tips and tricks about how to write successful short answer responses. You should begin by creating a clear hypothesis. Your hypothesis should be obvious to readers, and it will tell readers your solution to the presented question in the prompt. Basically, it's the launching point for your argument, telling readers what you will be discussing in your short response. Because this is a short response, your hypothesis should appear in the first few sentences of your prompt response. Following your hypothesis, you should create and state clear supporting details. These supporting details should pull actual data, facts, details, and evidence from the source material. Supporting details offer logic and legitimacy to your argument, and they tell why you made your argument in your hypothesis. Now we will discuss um, how to write a scientific experiment as part of your short response answer. So your scientific experiment should include a clear hypothesis. You will then need to create a well-organized and formulated design that tells how the experiment could be conducted. Next, you sh should suggest a logical method for collecting data. And finally, you should also include what criteria will be used for evaluating the results of your experiment based on the hypothesis you gave. To learn more tips and tricks about taking the GED exam, please visit gedstudyguide.org. Click the link below to subscribe.